like we are getting set to pull the trigger. And Blackman Will Dykes, and by the way, in my estimation, Will Dykes, I think Will just turned 19 years old. Will is the best Blackman, I believe. He and his dad right there neck and neck, our race director. But Will Dykes is as solid as they come on that black All right, we are getting set to pull the trigger. And coming off of turn number four, our flagman will start the race. They'll tighten it up. And on the turn number four, it's Alongside the 77 of Dittenberg and off of turn four again. Heat 
two and three. We need you lined up and ready to go. Hobby stock. You will follow. You're in Slade and Street Stock qualifying. You're in Slade Street Stock qualifying. You'll be next. Then we'll move to Hobby Stock. Then we'll turn it over to Wesley Outland. As the Great Lake models qualify, we'll have Bomber here. And then we'll come back and turn it over to Rick Eshelman.
good. Wheel Dykes will give the signal that we're going to fire. Delaware double pile restart. The six of Dalton Hood paces this field. Yes, Chester. In that beautiful blue number nine starts in second. The 25 of Tyler Moak has climbed into third. Steele time to make great progress and once again Baldwin Builder Supply, 602 Sportsman, Heat Races. W. Brian to Wolbach. Cody Overton goes off in the sixth position. He'll be in car number six. Jensen Ford starts fifth. He'll be in the double zero car. Starting fourth, David Poole in the double zero B. Starting in the third spot. Now to the front row, starting outside row one in second will be the 15 of Joseph Richburg. And on the pole will be the 64 of Ricky Gilmore. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. Your final drivers in the Baldwin Builder Supply 602 Sportsman Division. <laughs> hey man, it's been a while since they raced. These guys is ready to go. Once again, we need all Jerry Lane Street Stock drivers be ready to qualify next. Street Stock be ready to qualify next. Open up at one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Get here and make a day of it, man. It's going to be a good time tomorrow. You guys picked a great weekend to come to the races. We have people over here, Cochran Motor Speedway, and we are very happy to be the host of the third annual Jared's Lane Street Stock World Championship. Lots of money on the line. And I know that these guys and gals are ready to get back at it. And you know, we've had a really good year here at Cochrane. Had some historical events. We had the very first time in the history of this track we hosted the World of Outlaws. That was really something to see. And the last time that we raced in our annual Gobbler 100, it was the biggest race in the history of this racetrack and people that have been around here for years and years said they've never seen anything like it, man. There were people lined up, up and down the road. It was incredible. I'm not exactly sure of the final total on the car count, but we had a ton of race cars here. And then we come right back behind it to wrap up our 2019 season with 
the Durance Lane Street Stock World Championship. All right, it looks like we are good to go. It'll be Gilmore and Rich Bird hold the front row. Keith and Overton, row two. Then comes Wolbach and Poole in row number three. They are tightening it up as they roll through turns three and four. Franklin Wheel Knight pull the trigger and we're going to go three was storming toward the front. He and Gilmore get together right at the flag stand and pretty hard contact, man. It, it actually looked like that Overton might end up losing it and getting into the wall, but it was a 64 of Gilmore. They kind of got a piece of both of those walls. Anyway, we'll give track officials an opportunity to get them back up. We'll be back with the restart in just a moment. To go back at it, the 15 of Richburg will bring us back up to speed.